Sterling Lighting is known for its innovation in outdoor lighting. Today, Patrick Harders, co-founder of Sterling Lighting, is sharing about the SLO2 inline light. Patrick, can you share a little bit about how this fixture can be used in different applications? Sure. Um, this fixture actually found we were surprised how often it's used and how many different applications it can be used for. Uh, a lot of times it's really considered um, a light that's used around seating walls and it provides a great application or a great source for that. Um, so a lot of times this is used in seating walls and this can be uh, placed in there and that's really what it was designed to at the beginning. But then it started to be used in columns and pillars to light to downlight a column or a downlight a pillar. Um, the next really big use is step lighting and this really provides a superior step light than most of the step lights out there because it gives more of a linear light which is what we're trying to do with a step light. So this will um, will build right into the step and really disappears or virtually disappears into the step and provides great step lighting. And then after that our customers started using it for deck lighting. Uh, so any time you're having that hardscaping application around swimming pools, around decks, uh, even around docks, this fixture has been very popular for that. And what would you say are some of the key features? There's a number of things that set this apart. Uh, one is the materials we use. We design this fixture to last forever. After all, it's going in concrete. If somebody's building a patio, we expect that patio to last for years and years and years. So the fixtures that we build into it need to do the same thing. So we use 316 stainless steel. It's the best stainless steel you're really gonna find in a lighting fixture of this kind. We use a virgin brass, which is the best brass for this application, uh, both for the hardness and the, and the strength of the brass, but also for its resistance uh, to, the, to the outdoor environment that it's in. Uh, a number of things, we have the hidden bracket. A lot of times this can be used on a stack stone wall. And Many companies build a bracket that wraps around the fixture so the bracket's actually exposed. Our, our bracket is hidden inside the fixture and it's actually very easy for us to get to the bracket um, by these hex bolts right here allows us to, to get access to it. We use a Samsung chip. We found after all the testing that Samsung really had the best chip for this application, even beat out our Cree, which we're huge Cree people here. Uh, but the Samsung did a better job of, of giving us more consistency and a better linear light. The LED is built into the fixture so we never um, see the light source. And one of the great features about this is if we're planning for the future, there's always something that can happen. So we designed a wire inside the wire groove. This was a design we came up with. So if there is ever an application where, say, 10 years down the road, something happens and you have to replace the LED, it simply allows us to have this much access or this much wire in the fixture so it makes service a breeze, makes it a lot easier and we're not chipping away and not getting the access of, to the wire that we need. So those are some of the simple differences in this fixture. So I see you have a variety of different brackets here. Can yep. you explain those? Yes, we, we actually package all of these fixtures with three different brackets. The reason is what we designed is three different brackets that go into every fixture. So you're always prepared for the unexpected, which if you're out in the field doing work, you understand the unexpected always happens. This is our new construction bracket. This is used uh, typically when seating walls or patios are being built. Um, this is simply gonna go underneath the capstone. It has screw mounts, so if you did wanna have the option to, to screw it into place using a stainless steel screw or a corrosion re resistant screw that can be used. It also has mortar holes, so we could actually put mortar between the holes, lock that bracket in place. The other two, these brackets are a little bit different. Uh, sometimes you come into applications that you have an existing wall. So this is a surface mount. This is used a lot on wood stairs where it's just a little difficult to fit a larger bracket in. It could be used on an existing seating wall uh, where we have access to the back to feed the wire through. So this is a very popular bracket. And then this is a bracket that's just, it can go in new construction or old construction. It's smaller. There's just applications that the bigger bracket could sometimes just be too much and get in the way. One thing you do notice different about this bracket is it, is, it has a curved shape. This is an idea we had from one of our installers who said they were working on an application and they would love to have this the shape of the grinding tool that they use. They use a seven and a half inch grinding tool. So this way they're able to simply grind out a mortar joint, put the fixture in there and lock it into place. All these brackets are designed to last forever and the fixture hides the bracket inside of the fixture. So it's very discreet, very hidden, and looks beautiful. So I see that you have something new when it comes to brackets. 
Tell me about this. Yeah, this is our junction box that we designed. So I was on a large project. There was 60 of the inline lights going around this pool and patio. And there's always a scary time that when they come on that somebody might have damaged a wire. So I always looked at that and said, that's not the standard of quality that I would like to have on my installation. So we designed in a junction box. And what this is for is this can be built into the patio, built into the retaining wall, and we could simply run pipe to everything. Therefore, it's easy for us to pull string. We have pipe coming in, pipe coming out, go from fixture to fixture, and we protect the wires during the installation. So therefore, there's no surprises. If there's ever an issue down the road and we need to pull out wire, we can do it because everything is piped in. Just like we used to do in the old days with the step lights, we've now created the same idea with our inline light. This fixture actually fits perfectly right on the junction box. So this junction box can be built into the concrete or the masonry steps, and then the fixture fits right on top of it. Connection has to be a tight, small connection. We typically go with a waterproof inline connection in something like this, but the fixture covers up the space uh, to allow us easy access in the future. So. It's so great to see all the innovation coming out of Sterling Lighting. To find out more, you can visit sterling-lighting.com or give us a call. Thank you.